wondering how people get Marfan syndrome. How do uh, they start out with Okay, how do people get Marfan syndrome? Okay, how many of you guys know about genes? Okay, great. Okay, so genes are sort of like the blueprint um, that tells how your body gets put together. One of, the, one of the parts of that blueprint, okay, it's called the fibrillin-1 gene in your body, um, in people with Marfan syndrome, gives the wrong message. That abnormal message causes the problems that occur in Marfan syndrome. That message is in your DNA, so that's where the genes are stored. And so that can be passed on, because that information is passed on from the parents to the children, which is why we look a lot like our parents and our brothers and sisters, right? It turns out that for every piece of information that describes how the body's built, there's two copies um, in, in that blueprint. And so each of, your parents, each of your parents will give you one copy, okay? Now, it can be that they can pass down the abnormal one or the good one. Unfortunately, if they get the abnormal one, it confuses the body and causes Marfan syndrome, okay? Now, so, so about two-thirds of Marfan syndrome is passed on from your parents. Okay, so how many of you have parents with Marfan syndrome? I like it when things might work out, okay? How many of you don't have parents with Marfan syndrome? Yeah, good. I like it when the numbers come out just about right. So it's about a third and two thirds, right? Now, what happened in the, the other third? Well, the blueprint has to be copied, right? And how many of you, when you're doing your homework, make mistakes once in a while when you're copying? Yeah, you see? So that's what happens in the DNA as well. A third of the time, or a quarter to a third of the time, in copying the DNA when they're making uh, the blueprint, they make a mistake. And that's uh, when you have a new case of Marfan syndrome. Okay? Um, so why do kids get Marfan syndrome? Why do kids get Marfan syndrome? Well, remember this, that blueprint. So that blueprint starts off from when you were little. In fact, when you were inside your mother's womb, you already had that blueprint. You begin to have the abnormality um, at that point. Now, you may not show it as much when you're first born, uh, because some of that weakness that develops because of the abnormal copy uh, doesn't manifest itself. It doesn't become apparent until you're a little older. So let's say um, the aorta sometimes gets big. So the aorta is the big blood vessel that comes out of your heart, right? So it comes out a little bit big, but every day you're using your aorta, right? And so it gets weak. because it's a little weaker, it gets bigger over time. So that's why some of the things that we see, that we don't see when you're little, become a little bit more apparent when you're older. Does that, does that make sense? Does that answer your question? Okay, good.